Kanye to Pat's S7 here to announce the deal that Morgan Schneiderlin has signed for Manchester United. Get in. Now, I know I'm a little, little, little bit late with the announcement of this. I've been a little bit busy because he literally followed Schweinsteiger through the doors at Carrington. Literally, Craig Norwood said five minutes after Schweinsteiger arrived, uh, Morgan Schneiderlin followed him, signed, sealed, delivered, taken photos just so they can go and join the boys on the USA tour for pre-season. So, Morgan Schneiderlin, welcome to United Sun. This is a, a signing that I'm so, so excited for because it's the player, well, actually, I'll get to my opinions at the end. We'll talk about some facts that I've written down here today. Morgan Schneiderlin, 25 years of age. The French international uh, moved uh, from Southampton to United on a deal reportedly for uh, valued at 24 million on a four year deal with an option for one extra year. That is two midfielders United have signed in the one weekend. I'll repeat, the one weekend. We haven't even signed two midfielders in the one window before. It feels like it's been forever since we've bought in quality midfielders. But in all seriousness, Morgan Schneiderlin, uh, French international. Now, he reminds me of uh, Michael Carrick. I know a lot of you guys have seen Morgan Schneiderlin, I, I, I would presume. He's been in the Premier League for a few years. But for me, he's very, very similar to Michael Carrick. But he's probably a lot more defensive than Michael is. Um, Morgan, he's got the ability to win the ball back with ease. You always see him getting stuck in. You know, he's sticking a leg out. You know, he does cop a few yellow cards, but he's always getting stuck in, winning the ball back, making tackles where you don't expect him to, and he wins the ball back quite a fair bit. So that is something that has been lacking for United for ages. And to get him into your team, especially our team, because who do we have that is a proper, proper defensive midfielder because Fellaini's not that you know Herrera's not that one matter's definitely not that you know we don't have that uh, Carrick is the closest thing we have to that but as you guys know Carrick is getting on even though Carrick is good uh French international as well so the French team you know if you'll make it into that midfield you must be half decent now I just want to get to my opinions about Schneiderlin now I'm going to be very very controversial here I don't mean to be, it's just my opinions, and uh, you can get your comment down below. But uh, Morgan Schneiderlin, in my opinion, is probably the perfect, perfect signing for Manchester United for what we need. Now, I'm not saying he is the best midfielder in the world by any stretch of the imagination. He is the perfect fit for us because you got to look at the value in this transfer. We have got a French international midfielder 25 years of age he's got the perfect potential to grow into a world-class player and i'm not saying he's a world-class player right now but he's got the best opportunity to do so right now under louis van hal at united now he's in going to be in that number six role he's had all that experience in the premier league who else in the Premier League with all that experience and at his age can you get at Manchester United for a realistic signing? Probably nobody. That's a realistic signing other than Morgan Schneiderlin. That's why I say he's the perfect fit for us. Carrick's getting on. He's going to come in at that age. He can play alongside Schweinsteiger. Schweinsteiger can teach him a thing or two because, you know, very similar roles. But other than those two, that, those two signings that we've just got, We've never had proper defensive midfielders since Keno left. You know, that was almost, that was 10 years ago. You know, so uh, perfect signing in my opinion. I'm not saying he's the best. I'm not saying he's going to be the best midfielder in the world. I just reckon he's going to be a, a top, top fit for exactly what we need. Schneiderlin in the midfield with Schweinsteiger, Ander Herrera, uh, Michael Carrick, you know, uh, Juan Mata. Wayne Rooney, this is going to be great for us, in my opinion, because Schneiderlin's spot in the team isn't going to be under any sort of threat because we don't have a proper defensive midfielder. We did have uh, Fellaini, but Fellaini, as you seen last season, scored a lot more goals, got a lot more further up the pitch. He wasn't so far back, and Herrera last season was more our deep midfielder. Well, it was Carrick as well, but Carrick's getting on, so Morgan Schneiderlin is the perfect 
the perfect replacement for Carrick, in my opinion, and the perfect signing for us. But you guys probably disagree with me. You probably do agree with me. I just want to know what you guys think as well. Get your comments down below. For me, Morgan Stirling is a perfect fit for United. But anyways, that's, that's the end of this video. Um, until next time, hopefully I can announce a few more signings because it looks like uh, Otamendi... Uh, something is going on there. Apparently, he's trying to uh, push his way out, out of uh, Valencia. Uh, Ramos, still don't know what's happening there. De Gea, don't know if he's coming, if he's going. Victor Valdez could be leaving. That's a strange one. That's pretty much out of the blue, but didn't see that one happening. But uh, yeah, lads, De Gea could be staying. Who knows? But until then, lads, um, until something happens, I'll keep you updated. But until then, I'm your boy, Curtis7. Take care. Peace.